Well, hi ho, Stampers. This is Deb Velder. Welcome back to my studio. I always love having you stop by for some craftiness, and today we are going to do another card in our series of watercoloring. And this is no line coloring watercoloring. And um, we're going to do this card right here. I showed you how to do this card, and we're going to be doing a whole bunch of them, so stay tuned. We're going to be using one stamp set, and that's this little guy right here. And today we're going to be using this piece right here. So in each and every video, I wanted to teach you one more little technique um, and just kind of build on what we've started with this one right here. This was our basic first one that we did and now we're going to build on that. All right, so let's get out our um, supplies. We're going to need our tray and some water and I just like to have each one of these filled up because I like to have clean brushes going in between each one of them. So we're just going to take that and put it right up there. We're going to need our three brushes, okay, our number one, our number four, and our number six. We've got those out. We're going to be using Distressed Oxide Ink, and you can use any of the light colors. I'm going to be using Antique Linen today. And uh, we are going to, I've already mounted my stamp and have my cardstock in here. Now with my cardstock, I do like to cut it at five and a half by four and a quarter. And then I cut it down from there, um, but I like to have some extra room. So the first thing that you need to do is to stamp up the image with your Distressed Oxide ink. And I use Distressed Oxide because it, it is um, reactive to water and it helps blend everything together. So that's the one I'm going to use for this one. But like I said, in our shop, we have, um, I think, 61 colors. And um, you can use any one of the light colors. I gave some suggestions there yesterday, and I'll do it again today. So um, we're just going to stamp this down. It doesn't have to be perfect because, like I said, this is just the foundation of the card. All right? So that's all we need to do with that. I'm just going to take and clean up my little stamp right here with just a wipe. Okay, and we'll take care of that later. And now what we're going to do is to take a, our color and we're going to start coloring it. So let's just look at the background. Um, remember what I did yesterday? I actually um, coordinate, I, I, I taped off the edges of that. And I'm going to do the same thing today. So today let's go in three squares or three quarters of an inch. And I'm actually using the, the um, the tape that I've used from yesterday. Like I said, you can take and use this over and over and over again. As long as it's got sticky on the back, you're good to go. All right, so let's go right down to three squares here. Let's see, one, two, three, here we go. I like using my little Make Art Station because um, it allows me to um, line everything up just like this and also work on it. It's easy to clean up. So they just, there's three quarters of an inch there. Eh, I think we'll just go a half an inch on this one. So we're just going to go down two squares. And we'll do the same thing here. One, two. have all of that on there we're going to take and I'm going to straighten this one up okay now we're going to do the background and the background you can do a couple of different ways you can actually spritz it yesterday what we did was we added some water um, but you can actually spritz it also so let's just take and I'll show you what I mean I'm going to use just one of our little mini spritzers all right that's just going to get it started I'm just kind of spritzing the outside of it just to get it started. Now you'll see that the water is starting to activate the background just a little bit, and that's okay because in our card, we actually have some little halos around there. Actually, I'll do it again. Okay, so we're going to just start that, and now 
We're going to take our largest brush. We're going to wet it. Let me get out the colors that we're going to use. Let's start with our the top piece right here. So let's just kind of wet this up here. And we're just going to take and add it. And just scrub in the color. Now you want to get it close to the edges for this technique, okay? Because we want it to show the border all the way around. Okay, now we're gonna go to our yellows and I think I'll go to the darker of the two yellows. Just scrub in a little bit of this color. Good. Okay. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take and we're going to start our leaves. And I've got the um, background already started with uh, the Distressed Oxide ink, but I'm going to add a little bit of yellow to this. So I think I'll go with my number four first. Okay, because we're just going to scrub in just a little bit of color. I'm going to go with the lighter of the yellows and just scrub in just a little bit of color. All right, now we're going to go on to our greens. So let's just grab some of our, our lighter green first. And I'm not going to go all the way to the tip. I'm just going to take and just do a little bit down here at the bottom. And then I'm giving it just a touch of green. I want you to take note of the shape of the, um, the leaves. And, and see what I did up here? I added some little toppers to it. And I'll show you that as we get going. Now we've got a little bit of green color in there and now what we're going to do is we're going to go to our number one brush and we are going to really concentrate on this darker green right here. All right, so what I'm doing is just um, taking my brush and just taking and wetting the green and picking up a lot of color. All right, and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to flick this to make it look like it is just uh, leaves. And you'll notice that I am bringing it up above. You don't want your brush too wet on this one. All right. So let's just keep doing this and we'll come back.
right, let's work on the little uh, the little um, stems now. And all you're going to do is don't even think about it. Just take and um, walk your your uh, your brush right down. And I just do it very lightly. And make sure you have a lot of water on your brush, but just do it very, very lightly. And then I'm going to show you how you add the uh, depth into the to the leaves. We're almost done, ready for just detail right now. So let's go back in. We're gonna go in with some full strength on this dark green and just kind of find out where you need to add a little bit of shading. All right, see how, how it changed from just the original one? Now, let me just pick one. Okay, this one right here looks like it's just got a stick stuck into that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take and just kind of blend that in. Now, this is the beauty of no line coloring. You can take and you can um, just manipulate it any way that you want. So what I just did, instead of having a stick just stuck into this, the, uh, the leaf, I just added just a little bit of um, border to it. All right, so let me just show you again. I'm gonna go up and I'm just gonna add a little bit of border to it. Add a little bit more dark. And you just want to use a light number one brush and it just comes out so pretty. This is, this dark is actually what's making it even pop more. The very first time I did this, I was ready to throw it away, but I kept working at it. I didn't give up. And um, the, the lighter I went with my hand, I found the better it was. So just take and, and just kind of practice on a scrap piece of paper and just make some very, um, just some lines, just make some very light lines down the paper and you'll see what uh, pressure you have to give to your hand um, in order to get those light lines. And then once you start building your confidence, you're going to um, just not even think about it, just run it right down. Does that make sense? See how it's starting to come to life by adding just a little bit of darker to it, but making sure my brush is wet because otherwise it's gonna start dragging. So now I'm just gonna kind of finish a cluster at a time. Just bring my brush down just a little bit, not all the way, because we wanna keep some of that light in there too. I like this one. Good. I'm just taking, you know, just a little bit at a time and looking at each individual leaf now and, and giving each one a little bit of uh, dimension. And it's good to be able to manipulate. That's why I like using this um, little make art station is because I can kind of turn it as I need to to um, get the angle that I need to um, actually uh, color this in. And I'm just looking some darker color. There we go. Oh my goodness, I'm loving it. And then just the details at the end, the, the sentiment, the little splatters, they all just bring the whole piece together. I'm just about done here. You can overdo it too. And I just don't want to overdo it. So do you see how the distressed oxide kind of bled into it? That's exactly what you want it to do. You want it to give it a little bit of a halo, but you also want to make it look like a watercolor piece. All right. So now we've got all of that. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take it. I'm going to, um, for this one, I took the tape off and I splashed it. But for this one, I want to take it. I want to show you how I splashed it while it was on here. So let me just grab my um, metallic paint and you can just kind of grab the one that that most resembles what you're doing I think what I'll do is I'll use uh, this one right here 
to bring out the green. And remember, these metallics are metallic. They're shiny. They, they just bring a little bit more life to the, the, the picture. It just looks so pretty. So I'm going to grab my number six brush. Remember, we're going to really saturate your brush really well. And then we're going to just add the water to this. And you're going to see how absolutely beautiful um, it is. It just, it, it kind of sparkles while it's in there. Um, it's just gorgeous. So while I'm letting that sparkle, all right, now I've got a lot on my brush and I'm just going to take and I'm going to tap it. And you can tap as much or as little as you want. And I don't want a whole lot on here. And then what it'll do, it'll just kind of uh, spread out a little bit. It just, it brings the whole picture together. I just, I love the shininess, the metallicness of it. It's just absolutely gorgeous. So we're going to let that dry just for a few seconds and then we're going to come back and we're going to take and um, put our sentiment on and then put the whole card together. Isn't that so pretty? All right, I'll be right back. Okay, so while you were away, I cleaned up my, my little workstation here and now we're going to take and cut it down. Take off take it off my make art station we're going to take and we're going to cut it down and we're just going to cut it down a quarter of an inch on each side so that um it'll fit on my card and i'm saving this paper on uh, this tape so that i can use it on another card this tape goes a long way all right it's just our it's just our little um repositionable tape it's in the shop it's absolutely phenomenal and See how it puts that really pretty border all the way around? I just love the way that looks. So now what I'm going to do is just cut it down a quarter of an inch all the way around. And we'll go from there. All right, so now we have our piece right here. Now, if you notice on this one right here, you see how kind of rough my edges are? I wanted them that way. So I'm going to show you how to do that. But let's take and bring in our words. And we'll, we'll put those on here. I've got them already pre. Um, yep, they're going to work good. Um, these are the words. I'm just going to take in. I've already pre um, put them on my my Misty. And because uh, I'm going to make uh, yesterday, I made 10 of those cards. Today, I'm going to make 10 of these. I'm actually putting a couple of packets together to give away as gifts. And these are going to be such cute little note cards. So I'm just going to take now and... Um, ink up my words all right so there's our words and let's just clean that off And I'm not going to take them off of here because I'm going to make quite a few more. This is so fast. It, it's just a really fast, fun way to stamp. It's just kind of bringing it to another level. I love it. All right, so let's just grab a pair of our scissors. And we're just going to distress the, the outside of it. So the paper is already watercolor paper. And it's, a little, it's still a little wet. So it's going to do this really, really easy. Let's do it this way. And I'm just kind of scraping up the sides just to distress it a little bit. And don't forget your corners. go that's pretty good right there all right before we go any farther let's clean up my mess we have been selling out of these like crazy we just got another shipment in people are buying them by twos threes fours and sixes um they just one lady emailed us and said that um 
she liked making a mess just so that she could clean it back up. And I'm going to tell you, that is a lot of fun. It is, it's the cutest thing ever. All right, so let's bring this back in here. And what I'm going to do is just kind of tear the um, corners apart. Like I said, you don't have to do this, but it just adds to the whole watercolor, natural cute, cuteness of this. That's not cute. It's very, very pretty, very elegant. I love that. I just love the way it came out. I love it. Every time I do one of these, I love it even more. Um, and I'm not kidding when I say that. So I'm just going to take my uh, cardstock here and put it together. Oops, let's do it this way. Are you a hamburger fold or a hot dog? I love it. I love my cards going this way unless there's a specific technique going the other way. I just like opening them up this way. I don't know why. All right, and then that's going to go right on there. Now, what I will tell you is, is you do want a lot of adhesive on your watercolor paper because you don't, you don't want it to um, buckle on you. Even though it is nice and dry, I just put a lot of adhesive on watercolor paper. All right. And add this to this. And really, 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 really push it down. All right, making sure it opens the right way. Good, all right, now I'm just gonna distress the sides a little bit more. And there's our card. Isn't that so pretty? I just love the way these come out. And no two cards ever come out the same um, because they're handmade. They're absolutely gorgeous. I hope you enjoyed our post for today. Make sure you watch the whole series because I'm going to be using every stamp in the set. And I'm also going to be showing you some different techniques on each one of them. So you make sure you subscribe to our YouTube videos if you like them. Click the little bell so you never miss one. And it, it instantly tells you when we've got a new one up. Uh, hit the thumbs up button. It makes us feel so good when you do that. And share this with your friends. You take care. Have a great day. And hop on over to Teaspoon of Fun. Take care. Thank you.